everyone. I've been away for a while. Sorry about that. I caught a bad cold a few days after I got back from Houston, and I kind of had to play catch-up with the rest of my life for a lot of the time since. Uh, I think I still had the cold when I gave that uh, viola case tour, and I apologize in advance if my voice is still a little bit scratchy. Uh, so here's what's going on in my musical life. As you saw in the clip at the beginning, I have a really exciting concert that's um, actually coming up tonight. Uh, uh, the clip is from the dress rehearsal, and uh, that's the Camellia Symphony Orchestra at the Cathedral in downtown Sacramento. Uh, it's not our usual venue, but we were there because of the uh, music that we're playing. Uh, we're doing an all-Mozart concert that includes uh, Mozart's Requiem with two local choirs, so that's really exciting. I mean, it's the Mozart Requiem. Do I really have to say any more? But I think it's also one of the toughest concerts I'll ever have to play because it... For one, it's all Mozart, and uh, I think whoever said Mozart is too easy for children and too difficult for professionals is exactly right, because the notes are not that difficult, but it's so transparent, which means you need a whole lot of precision. But you know, as you can see from the rehearsal clip, I think we're going to do fine. Um, and I said earlier I'd mentioned what I was doing it with that other orchestra. So yeah, this uh, really started a little bit before I found out I was going to go to Texas. Uh, when I was back, when I was at the CalCap Chamber Music Workshop back in July, uh, it turned out I played in <coughs> ensembles with with three other, uh, with three principal string players from the Rancho Cordova Civic Light Orchestra, which is another community orchestra in the area. And um, a couple weeks after CalCap, their concertmaster emailed me saying they needed someone to fill in as a principal violist because their regular principal violist couldn't make that concert. Uh, actually, it turned out a bunch of their other violists were missing, too. Uh, I think they only had one of their regular seven violists at the concert. Uh, um, so, yeah, that's what I was doing, playing that concert three days after I got back from Houston. They just needed people, and I'd... Uh, already signed up to fill in as their principal violist. Um, anyway, I said yes after I heard about the repertoire. It was all California-inspired music. Uh, there was a piano concerto by a local composer who also performed the concerto, and there was a lot of music by Ferdy Grofe, including some uh, unpublished music that had been performed once and then never again. A uh, little bit on Grofe, he might be the uh, national composer of California. And, I know he's not that famous, but his Grand Canyon Suite gets played a fair bit, and he's also sort of known for uh, being the guy who orchestrated Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue when Gershwin said he didn't have enough time to do it. Uh, but he also wrote a number of concert suites, just these sets of short pieces for orchestra that were inspired by places or historical events, and... A lot of these were for one-off performances, usually some kind of historical commemoration, uh, which is why a lot of it was played once and then never again, and never published. Um, and um, Ferdy Grofe Jr. was at the concert, and he uh, came up and give, gave a little spiel about his dad and uh, the inspirations for some of this music. So that was really cool. Uh, the music itself was honestly a little bit of a mixed bag. I, a lot of it was based on American folk songs, which is nice, but he used some of the same ones over and over again. So uh, I think we played different versions of Pop Goes the Weasel in uh, three or four different pieces. Um, but, you know, he used some really interesting effects. Like uh, in one piece, uh, he had uh, the principal string players uh, playing behind the bridge to sound like rusty wagon wheels, uh, something like this. Um, and there were some uh, fun fiddly bits too, uh, since this was uh, very much Old West inspired, like from uh, uh, the San Francisco Suite, uh, the Gold Rush piece. Uh, I haven't played this in a while, so... But anyway, here goes. <laughs> And um, one thing Grofe was really good at was uh, these uh, big, sweeping, uh, landscape-type melodies. Uh, like this one. Actually, no, it's... Oh.
uh, the other thing, uh, a lot of it was actually in handwritten parts, which mean, which is why it's, uh, it was some, it's sometimes a little bit hard to read the notes uh, a month after last seeing it. Uh, but yeah, that's the, uh, that was the end of one of the pieces. Uh, so I was told that that concert, uh, that community orchestra concert, was filmed for public access TV, and it, uh, we're supposed to get an email uh, before it airs, so um, I'm going to try to DVR it and put some clips from it online. Uh, so I've said before I was going to talk a little bit about getting uh, into orchestra, finding orchestras and getting into orchestras. Uh, I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. Uh, anyway, if there's anything you'd like to see or, you know, uh, any questions, uh, feel free to post in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to follow my uh, musical journey. And um, thanks for watching.